All right, what's up, Paul Squad? Welcome back. So, yes, I have a double Zephyr recap, and this is one of these recent ones. This is his Captain America, the Winter Soldier recap, and it's called How the Winter Soldier Beat the Ism of Captain America. So, I tried to say the word, but hey, look, how about hatred? How, you know, Winter, the Winter Soldier beat the hatred of Captain America? So, you all know in the title, I don't want, I don't want to get no, 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 like, copyright strike, whatever. So, uh, who knows? But it's the Hot Squad. No Zephyr recap. I'm excited for this because Captain America, the Winter Soldier is one of my favorite superhero movies of all freaking time, of course. And by the way, if you not know, this is actually the first time the Russo Birds joined the MCU way before they did Defense the Endgame, Infinity War, and Civil War. All four of them were the greatest, greatest superhero movies of all freaking time. Hell, really, period, one of the best MCU movies, period, obviously. But yes, Hot Squad, I'm ready to see this recap. So it's been so long I've seen The Winter Soldier. It actually came out 10 years ago, y'all. Let that seek in. It came out 10 years ago. Wow. So Hot Squad, further ado, once again, it's Zed Fire time, baby. Captain America Winter Soldier recap. Let's watch. So the scene starts and we got Captain America in the elevator. And I want y'all to listen up, listen closely, and most importantly, listen carefully. Because this whole movie is going to confirm that this man is really Captain America. Because the first thing we see this man do is stare right at a brother. My dog has never oh, seen God. a non-swimmer in an unsegregated area. I know he's loading up every swear in the book. They stop at the next floor and five more people walk in. And I want you to tell me which one of the five this man decides to look at. Oh God, no, Uncle Ruck is doing it. Really? Nah. I want you to look at this man's face too. I know damn well y'all never seen this nigga this angry. Like this man, Chris Evans, is too invested in the role. He's from Boston. They all became racist once Michael Jordan was dunking straight cookies on the Celtics for 63 straight points. Huh. He was made for this. But after all that, we get this iconic line. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? And then the whole elevator gets to... Flag on play. You think you can uh -oh. go five minutes without oh, Captain boy. America expressing some form of discrimination? Rewind the tape, bruh. Because look at the room. We all know the primary threat is right here. But look at where his eyes lead before he locks in. He looks to his left. And who's on the left? Negro. He looks to the <laughs> corner. Who was in the corner? Negro. Negro. And after scoping out the midnights, then he looks. Like, man, I'm about to leave. Bro. This nigga was <laughs> But they finally get... Not even a, a freak almost two minutes in the video already got me dying laughing, man. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> oh my god, oh, Zephyr, you're killing me, man. To box in, but I must be overanalyzing because I do not know how half of this room got knocked out. Like, I don't see nor hear oh, a kick. But these five niggas just automatically get down on their knees. They move in like J. Cole, copping the plea just off a nigga's aura. But I don't even blame them, not gonna lie. Captain America was doing civilians like this. I wouldn't want to fight them either. But they were doing them like Tiana Trump 7v1. And this man puts a metal slate on his arm like he Kuvera. And they had Cap's arm in the air. And he was trying so hard to put that hole down. He's not trying to get mistaken as an ally. But once he puts his arm down, he crocks these two. And then gets to sniffing out the nearest black person he could knock out. But he Sparta kicks his fool. Stamps this man's neck at him. Has been for air. And this man gets left hooked into observing a landscape view of the city. But he throws this bulldozer of a nigga off him. And he gets kicked right back up into the wall and this man rumlo is so trash despite having the advantage in a one-armed iso still hits this crazy of a miss had that nigga hit in there he can't do it <laughs> but he gets tased in the back and he elbows rumlo while being mid weave and then tosses little bro towards the camera like ease. and look at how he does the black brethren the worst breaks this nigga's wrist got him singing and then ricochets him off of glass this man is really one of them fictional characters you do not want to be black around. But he gets himself off the wall and he starts moving diabolical. Throwing regular niggas in the same posture as his shield. Like, why are you always tweaking against regular niggas, gang? Do I have to show y'all Ultron? This nigga will fight you ten times harder if you don't have powers. And he ends this fight off by smacking Rumlo and throwing him up in the air like a baby. Yes. Also, I really like this scene. Jump out the window. Yeah. I love this too. And this is where Cap continues his quest to take down Hydra. Now, there's so many scenes I can talk about for the Winter Soldier, but I'm gonna start. 
this, Winter Soldier has so many good action sequences in, in MCU history, like good God. With this one right here. When Cap done kidnapped the dog trying to find it for me. <laughs> He ain't even yeah, wait for me to yeah. finish my sentence. He already squabbling. <laughs> <laughs> he starts shooting through the V and Widow just wanted an excuse to put her poom poom on Steve Rogers' face. I know it's no crazy in there, bro. But they throw him off the car and peep the slide. That's why he's there. That's why he's the goat. And then an armored vehicle rams the back of the car and look at him. Staring them down there, with man. straight aura. Sure. This is what the MCU's missing. They don't got sauce like this no more. No, he no. jumps on the car and straight ticks. That's absolute facts, man. I mean, come on. That's facts, man. That's so facts. The MCU now, hope to God Deadpool Wolverine is really good. Matches, matches this, man. But anywho, yeah, man. The MCU has not been on the roll lately. It has not been. It has not. Felt the wheel, got him whipping in a Flintstone vehicle. They was cooking them so bad, Cap had to cop the plea and leave the V. Mm -hmm. Had to claim defeat and leave the Jeep. Mm -hmm. Had to drop the beef and get in the street. Damn. Put the fist up, cause niggas disturbing the peace. <laughs> ah! Stop, ah! Okay. Stop playing with me, nigga! I'm like that! But while I was distracted by that garbage freestyle, Captain <laughs> America really thought he could get away with more racism. Because he got all three of them on the shield, and he's like, Sorry, Sam. Whites only. The racism yes. was so bad, the cameraman had to look away. And by the time he turned back, this man is rolling like a bowling ball. Do you see what I'm talking about? We really got a Jim Crow American as an Avenger. And after all that, tell me why I turn around and this nigga got a grenade launcher, bro. Like, why are niggas? Just spawn it, but he shoots it right at Cap. Got that nigga slow, giving this nigga more airtime than the Wright brothers. And while Cap is knocked out, the Winter Soldier's farming highlight clips on straight side characters. Like he spotted into easier lobbies just to look cold. Look at him, but he's out there farming his Twitch clips, looking clean as hell with a VZ61 strapped to his back. When it comes to Aura, this man is top two MCU bar none. Mm. Argue with your mums. He's yeah. out there hawking Black Widow down and she's out there sprinting for her life. And I'm really feeling for Widow. She got a vital artery struck, got her moving like these. You got <laughs> niggas all around her either crying or screaming. And then you got Sam on the intercom screaming straight Swahili. Someone come save her. And they get to... Right there. I'ma keep saying it till y'all understand. Every superhero is a sip. They get 50 yeah. plus endurance and boost to all stats, which you have double D's in a booty with a perfect circumference. <laughs> they had Cap running like Rod Wave chasing a four for four. As if he wasn't having visions of Kobe scrimmages two minutes ago. Damn. I'm telling y'all these niggas different. But we gonna get back to it. But they get some boxing. I'm talking straight hands. They was fighting so clean and aggressive. And this man really had Cap in his 1947. And hitting straight parkour. I know after this fight, he gonna be talking about some, Ooh, my back. <laughs> Wait till old oh, ass, man. But the Winter Soldier's out here using his entire arsenal. We only see three, but that's still bigger than Kid Cudi's entire bag of one singular hit. Once day and night finishes on stage, that nigga is frozen. But once Cap clocks him with this mean right, he's all like, oh, we throwing hands now. And they actually get to scrap it. Had bro hit it, they'll bring it around town. Head ass. And once he gets backed up, I saw this. <laughs> I was like, nah, looking this clean with your accessory. Mm. This is the equivalent of posting another nigga's chain when you snatched it. <laughs> I need Steve to spin back. And he goes right in there and... <laughs> Damn! Damn. Damn! Almost knocked that nigga clean sure. off. I know Spider-Man was in the back taking okay, notes. Y'all awesome. gonna see in the vid. And then they really get to the hands. I'm like, yo! <laughs> I'm a I tell you, man, the action, man, the action is freaking off the chain. God damn. Go back and give y'all the play-by-play. -play. They was really moving like some elite cooks. And we're getting elite plays from Steve right here. Just parries and deflections. Yep. Everything's getting denied. Call it some bad riz. You're just a friend. Cover. You're like a brother to me. I don't see you like that. Yeah, I know some of y'all watching right now. This guy here with Korea level flashbacks. Couldn't be me. And then we got Bucky throwing his utensils like he a chef. Right into the same hand trying to take his face off. 
He knows his vision is the greatest attribute to his defense. Goes for the low, deflected. Pushes him off, hits a milli rock. Like, this is truly master class fist of cuffs. I love the game, I love the grind. But sadly, this is where Steve is starts sad. to do too much. Because this man got two hits just to get his combo off. And then this man ran up in these. Like, if you don't get your Captain Falcon knee up out of here, niggas. If your opponent is using their knees in any capacity in a fight, there is a 95% chance that they belong in a psych war. You're fighting a crash out. Because my man did all that, and then Bucky started to get the upper hand. Even started to choke him. And look at him. Now that it's you, you don't like how it feel, huh? Oh, man. Get your way up out of here, boy. He triple punches this nigga into the whip and almost takes this man's face off. And this is when this nigga... And just started doing anything. Cap hits him with a watch out, watch out, watch out. gets back his shield, and this is where the Winter Soldier showed me that he is one of the smartest niggas I ever seen on the field. Peep game. Now he tries to stab Steve from above, but obviously he blocks it. But this was just a ploy for him to drop the knife into his other hand. And while Steve prepares to dodge the knife strike, him even following through with the attack, it was a pump fake the whole time Damn. just for the hook. Yeah, see, I see, I can feel it. He's cooking. Double pump fake to get a clean right. You don't see plays like this. These are real hands. Mm. But Cap flips them over and takes off the mask. And that's when it's revealed <laughs> that it was Bucky Barnes the whole time. And they would have continued to scrap if Widow ain't pull up in the rear trying to take his head off. Yes. And then he escapes. Mm. He got beaten so bad he actually teamed up with an African. But sadly, <laughs> Sam don't got a lick of real nigga in him. He's the one black friend the white people swear they have. And he gets exposed on all. All counts. Yes. L audio, but I actually forgot to put this in the video real quick. Watch this. Damn. Oh. Damn. Because they're walking on the helicarrier and Cap gets snuck. Straight sneak nation. Sam goes to save his mans and Bucky hit this nigga with the dark side. Yeah, yes. it's over, bro. He's getting it done like a shown inside character. Because he straight yeets him to the ground, rips off his wing, got him moving mm. like Sephiroth, one winged <laughs> angel, and decommissions the Falcon in four oh, effing seconds. seconds. Like, how is yeah. that even possible, bro? You making us all look bad. And then we get to this Metal Gear Solid final fight in the Helicarrier, and this bit was so tough. I love how Bucky's one of the only yeah. people that can use guns and actually threaten <laughs> these superheroes. Look at the persistence and accuracy with the aim. Straight snuck this nigga with two blicks. <clears throat> I like that. And this ain't the only time he greases Cap. He straight breaks his oh, back. Damn. No pause. Got him no bent. Pause. Cap tries to throw the shield back and he's like, Man, get that weak. Yeah, <laughs> and even went in to stab his shoulder blade. I'm telling you, this nigga is him. But it can't be a Captain America fight without some choking. These niggas kinky as hell. Yes. And the entire last 30 seconds of this fight is just Cap trying to choke this nigga out and he is actually successful like congratulations cap your ratio is now 1 to 57 <laughs> but that's how it ends and we don't see the winter soldier up until civil war yep and i'm gonna see y'all then all right another amazing recap that fire great great recap man <laughs> that, that's that was really good. <laughs> the beginning was as well had me had me rolling man god dog man well, of course, it's all jokes. All of this is jokes, y'all. So please don't get triggered when y'all saw this. Like, seriously. It's, it's, oh, boy. But yeah, man. Winter Soldier has so, so many great action sequences. It's crazy, man. But yeah, um, I did saw something about, you know, um, I think, what, Kevin Feige said that Deadpool Wolverine had, like, had, like, um, Captain America, Winter Soldier, as sequences, like, type that, type, as sequences is gonna be in Deadpool Wolverine, which I'm, I'm down for it, I'm down for that, so, yeah, overall, yeah, man, I'm absolutely excited to see Deadpool Wolverine, but, and, amazing recap is that fire, amazing recap as always, so, I can't wait for your Captain America Civil War recap, can't wait for that, man, I mean, Zephyr is cooking, he is freaking cooking. So, absolutely, positively, definitely going to watch that. So, Hawk Squad, if you enjoyed my reaction to Zeph Fire's Captain America with Social Recap, please hit up on Contra Share Thoughts. What's your favorite MCU movie? How long has it been? Have you seen Captain America with Soldier? And, yeah, 
absolutely amazing recap stuff. Fire, right, keep up the great work, my guy. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I have my Who Owner 9 Creed 3 recap coming in a few moments. So, please stay tuned for that.